Hey, my beautiful gems. How are you all doing? Hope you're having an amazing day wherever you are. So guess who we have here with us today? Mr. A.R.D. And, and my very best friend, mm -hmm. Abai Chapit. So what are you guys doing there today? <laughs> are we watching this? We're enjoying some beautiful fish. Miss Sparkle and Things made some trout, some fried, some fried trout and uh, plantain chip and we, we, uh, we toasted it with pepper. <laughs> let me tell you, I was to leave about 15-20 minutes ago but uh, let me tell you, look at this. You couldn't resist I that fish. I couldn't fish. resist, we had to stay. <laughs> and we're going to also take another drink. Yeah, cheers <laughs> to that boy. Merry Christmas. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Yeah. Now, my boy Javid and I came a long way um, back in the 90s, right? Yeah. Javid used to be living in Better Hope, Chrysler, and I used to live in Montrose. And we were friends since Javi wasn't even married. No. Javi was a manager with GNCB back in the 90s, 96, 97, yeah. right? Yeah. I was a manager for a company on the East Coast back then. And you know, we became friends. And to date, that friendship still going strong. Yep. 23 years later. Mm -hmm. Now Javi is on, on leave right now, right? Yeah. <laughs> so he dropped by to say hi. And look what I'm going on. I edit him. And look what we got here, boy. This is from Mr. Bonan that he gives to me. So Miss Sparkle and Things brought anyway, cheers as we cheers, cheers to with this one to XM. Mr. Bonan, if you guys watch my video, you would have known that Mr. Bonan gifted me this bottle of XM for Sparkle and Things. That's the first time I'm, I'm seeing one of that. Yes. Yeah. True. And I haven't seen one of this. It, yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna be trying oh, this wow. today. Mm. It's it's a royal. Royal Rum Liqueur. It's the cream liqueur that DDL has. So we're gonna we're gonna try this out today, Jack. Sure. You're gonna tell me what's going on, boy. Alright, in the meantime, they get their ice the and the, the liqueur yeah, um, right. ready. I just wanna say special thank you to Mr. Bodan and his family That's for sending funny. me this lovely um what's it XM bottle of XM Royal Liqueur. A bottle of XM Royal Liqueur. A Merry Christmas to you and your family from Sparkle and things, and it's our life ERD. Ah, you heard that? <laughs> this is like when Amita Bachel next up. Uh -huh. <laughs> Good. So he's got you a little bit of the ground for tradition, but I don't know why, but a little drop, right? So now we got we can just do the tasting, right? I'm having this for the first time. You know, I is an Eldorado man. But I get it, I like him for the XM. So cheers to that. This one for my, all my guys that migrated around the world. This one for you. Cheers. Cheers, bro. Right. Mm. Oh, wow. It's sweet. This is like cream liqueur. Cream liqueur without raw. the milk. Yeah, without the milk, but um, it's a perfect blend between the Cream liqueur with the milk and, and some some rum. some rum, some vodka. Yeah, yeah, you know, it, it's it's really nice. Wow, it is it is awesome. Trust I'm me. surprised. I'm First really time surprised. around drinking it. Oh, this is but, really but, but 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 this one, Javi. Which one would you take? All right, let, let, let's choose well, you now. <laughs> which one would you take? No, but I have to take the twenty-one. <laughs> but as a review for this one, it's amazing. For, Beautiful for, for ladies or you know. If you have a casual evening yeah, or something yeah. light, it's, this one. This is very nice for the ladies. But if yeah. you're a big boy, yeah, yeah. if you're a big boy, it's a big man. By the way, we're drinking this on the rocks. On the rocks. With the no, so you're have, sure have you about the taste. <laughs> yes. Have you seen any water here? <laughs> no. Cheers, Cheers, everybody. So there you had it, guys. You heard it from the two pros. So here's my review now. Oh, wow. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, my review. It has a great taste. And I'm sure the ladies would love this. So now I'm heading back to the kitchen to bake some black cake. <laughs> so we are in the kitchen. And I have my family here helping me to bake cake. There we have Layman. Say hi. There we have Selena. 
guarding the eggs. <laughs> and here we have Mr. ARD. Hello, watermelon time. <laughs> and over here we have Mikey. Well, he was mixing just so he's a bit tired. At the moment, we're making fruit cake. So if you guys would like to know how to make fruit cake, please check out It's Our Life ARD. He'll be making fruit cake. No, I'm making fruit and eating cake. Eating, no, I'm making cake and eating fruit. Fruit, I get you. All right, so after this, I'll be making black cake. So I'm gonna show you the recipe in just a bit. So these are the ingredients I'll be using to make our black cake. Here I have orange peel. And how I did this, I got the fresh orange, peel it, and then I put it in the sun to dry. And then we got orange peel. So this is dry now. And here is the finished product. I put it in a blender and then I blend it. Then we have clove, cinnamon, five spice, nutmeg, mix essence, three county tropical fruit mix. I didn't get a chance to soak my fruit, so I'm gonna do the easy way by using this. We have butter, baking powder, cake coloring, we have egg, flour, sugar, and cherry brandy. Now you can use any wine or alcohol you prefer to use to soak your cake when it's finished. But today I'm using cherry brandy. And you guys look across here. We caught Let everybody see I drinking. We caught Mr. A already taking a shot. You know I went on three month fast. El Dorado. 21. That's my favorite. El Dorado is my favorite. You know. I love XM 21 too. You know, I've been on fast for three months. So I I am catching up back and I'm making up back for that three month fast. So I'm drinking fast. Cheers. Cheers, Mr. Lynch. I'll be baking black cake. And of course I have mine here. XM. Use the XM girl. I'm the XM lady. Mm -hmm. Cheers. So now I'm gonna add my butter to my basin. And that's a pound, right? Yes. I'm baking three pounds of cake. Alright. Because I don't have to bake back to the new year. Oh great. So three pounds of cake that requires three pounds of butter. Exactly. And how much pounds of sugar? Okay, I guess that I just got three pounds of sugar. Okay. Sugar. Demerara gold sugar. I ain't giving up my demerara gold for nothing. And it's locally grown here, right? Yep. In the in the fields on the east coast and Kanji and um, I Flood Estate and the Moore Estate, Port Morant. Kelan Estate. These are all estates, sugar estates in Guyana. Unfortunately, where I grew up in Esquivel, we don't have um, sugar plantation there. We have rice, rice farming here. Yes. So there's one thing I didn't get to do in my life: farm sugar, sugar cane, cane. cut cane. So yeah. this, I'm gonna add in my essence. So I've added three tablespoons of essence today. Bottom sugar. So I'm gonna mix this up. That's a lot of work, darling. Yes, it is. That's why I have my handy bandy. Oh, great. Cake mix up. Nice. Electric water. <laughs> Lovely. Alright, so this is gonna take some time. So I'm gonna do this and then I'm gonna show you the next step. So over here, I have Selena helping me to finish up the um, so the butter and the sugar mixture. You see, it's it's turning to cream here already. You gotta get a little bit like um, fluffy, fluffy and you know nice and smooth. Yeah. All right. So now I'm gonna crack my eggs, and what I normally do is use a bowl, and we crack them individually, and then we'll add them to our pan, our basin. What's the reason for that? Well, the reason is that if one egg goes bad, you know, you don't want to spoil the entire base of it. Lovely, lovely. Good. So, I'm going to continue doing this. And how many eggs you got to crack for the three pounds of cake? Um, okay, so for black cake, you want it to be solid. So we'll, we're going to do like 10 eggs, if it's small. 
And if your eggs are large, you'll use like eight eggs. Eight oh, eggs. Yeah. Then Paul must have had a really hard time putting out them, them, them large eggs. <laughs> okay, you're too funny. All right. <laughs> So we got 30 eggs and now you're adding the So what I, what I normally do is add some more essence to the egg. Oh, what's the purpose for the, for the essence in there? To give it extra flavor and what I notice when you add the essence, it kind of um, cuts out the rank. The overwhelming so, taste of the eggs, the, yeah. the rankness of the eggs, yeah. alright. And I find me egg next time I can throw some essence inside. Then you'll get back heat. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna beat this until it's nice and frothy. And then we'll add it to our butter mixture. Alright, so Selena finished with the butter cream. And I finished with the egg mixture here. So now I'm going to add the eggs to the butter and sugar mixture. Alright, looks all yummy. Yes, it will be. So now we'll combine this mixture. And, and here then we have add in the fruits. Our fruits. I'm gonna add the fruits to our batter. And so you add normally in what I do, I use like two pounds of fruits. Two pounds of fruits. One. Two pound of cake. Pound of black cake. That's just me. Okay. Yeah. Well everybody cook differently, as you would always say on your channel. Yes. And that's true. We all cook differently. So you're gonna mix that all up. And then we'll start doing our um, flour mixture and then we'll add it to this. All right, great. Yeah. And then we'll move on to our next step. Great. Oh boy, look at the goodness there. I don't feel like eating black cake already. Now I'm going to add in all my spices in the dry flour. Cinnamon, nutmeg, clove, five spice, and baking powder. my dry orange peel and then I'm gonna give them a good mix here I have a strainer and I'm going to sift my flour reason for that it won't have any lumps when I'm mixing my cake batter so now Miss Lynn showing in the cake coloring inside the um, inside the cake in the black cake is that cake coloring Alan? Mm -hmm. wow doesn't give it the darkness a dark color right? We like when you burn the sugar because you just get the color like really fast. So when you use this bottle type, like here I use like actually it's all bad for me, I don't know. Okay. So we continue to bake the cake, eh? And down here now, now how you will know when the, the, the mixture is formed is when you put the, the spoon or whatever in the middle and it don't fall down. So you know the cake, mixture is formed and ready to go in the pan to start baking. Alright, so now I have those little foil pans. I'm gonna add a little bit of butter just to coat the pan so that when you when you um when the cake is finished, when you put the cake and the cake is finished, it'll come out easy. <coughs> now I'm gonna add some flour. Now I'll just shake it around like this. I'm just gonna do this one here now and then I'll start doing the others because it's quite a few. So this is our cake, looking all nice. Now I'm going to add it to our coated pan. And I'm just gonna put half of it because while baking, your cake is gonna rise a little so we don't want it to overflow so this should be good enough and that's it now we're gonna put this into the oven so my finch already mix up all she cake mix and look how beautiful it looks in this pan in these pans so now we put in all them um, love into this oven 
and about 45 minutes later, well, 30 minutes later, we're gonna check it back and give you guys an update what it looks like. 30 minutes later, Miss Lynch is gonna check on those cake. Wow! So okay, here I check. have a, a skewer. Mm -hmm. You can use anything, a toothpick, a skewer. And like back in the day, we used to use the point to broom. Here I have a skewer, so I'm just gonna poke holes in it. To, oh, well, this is not finished yet, you see? You see that? It's still... How we come up? Yeah, water really. And this is like half an hour later. Look, after 30 more minutes, it's one hour into the baking of the black cake. Let me check on it again. Wow, it looked brown, it looked lovely, and it's really hot. I think she got to poke it one more time and check it and see if it's if it ready. If it's not ready, we're gonna have to low the heat on this stove. Okay, it's looking dark on top. It's in the lamb. It's in the What we can do, we can low the heat to about 200 degrees from 350. We're gonna low it to like 200 degrees and let go for 15 minutes more. Okay, let's slow cook it now. Because there's a lot of cake we have in the stove um, baking right now, that's why it's taking a bit longer. Oh yeah, check it out for another two. Okay, it looks dark. Well, it's black cake anyway. Black cake, yes. Oh, can you see? It's wet. It's still wet. It's a little exit. So we're going to switch the trays from the top, put them at the bottom, because the heat is more at the bottom than the top. So then we're going to have to up the heat back to 350. 15 minutes later. Look at the goodness that way. How it look, Miss Lynch? Let me raise the pan, it crack a little. This one's still on the limo. Get the top ones. But those were the ones that were at the bottom. Mm -hmm. These should finish. Yeah, look, you see when it starts pulling apart from the pan? The pan yeah. You it's, know it's finished. It's ready. Yeah. So let's put a thing to it. Just to make clean, sure see? it's clean. Right, so the top ones are done. The right. bottom one's gonna go for another 15 minutes and they're gonna be right, ready. So I'm gonna take this out now and I'm gonna pour the wine. So the black cake took approximately one hour and 15 minutes. Yeah. We're not only drinking the excess rum, we now eat it in the cake. We so poke the, the holes. So I'm poking a few holes on the cake so that the wine would absorb pasta in the cake. So half cup to one cake. All right. Tonight and then tomorrow morning I'm gonna check it and if it looks dry I'm gonna soak it back. But normally we leave it like two or three days and then we soak it again. Oh great. Yeah. You want the cake to be moist. Alright, so this is our finished product with our cake. This is the black cake. And over here is our fruit cake. And as you can see here it's perfectly baked. So here we go. We got the So we got the we got about two tablespoons. Yeah. Come on, you know, sparkly bandit. <laughs> so I'm gonna use three of the cake and soak it with the rum. Now watch your goodbye. Ketchup on camera and everything. You keep the marriage you just add to your own. You mind it? <laughs> you best believe. <laughs> Two sugar water inside. You wicked. <laughs> so this is actually meant for this because it's direct. Yes. So just shake it up a little. I'm gonna cover this. And then I'll use a Sharpie marker just to mark the top. So I'll know this one here has the Eldorado in it. When you put um, a lot of rum in the cake, it's gonna get, you know, bitter. So. We don't want that. So that's why normally I would use like the cherry wine or the cherry brandy. I mean, that's that doesn't have much alcohol in it. So that's it, all covered. I'm gonna leave this. 
for tomorrow morning and then we'll check it again to see the texture of the cake. So see you guys in the morning. All right, so it's the next day. Now we're going to open one. It looks kind of dry to me. It's not, you know, that moist. So if you can see here, I don't know, yeah. It looks kind of dry. So I soaked it last night with half a cup of the wine and it absorbed all of that wine. So today again, I'm going to do half more cup. All right. So this is it now. I'm going to leave this to cure. I'm going to cover them, store them away. And in another three days, I'm going to check them again and we'll see what happens from there so today is the third day and i'll be asking mr denny to taste for me and i did something nothing bad it's something good but i need for you to taste it and let me know what i did all right so the fork in here i'll do this one mm. Proper things, not enough alcohol that as I would love. <laughs> but it's amazing. But it's perfect, it's amazing. You know I love my Eldorado, right? What? I miss some of my Eldorado. You sure you didn't take it fancy properly? This one is lighter. A little bit more sweeter. Plain. Maybe this one doesn't have alcohol as yet. That one definitely has alcohol. So which one do you prefer? Yeah, I love alcohol. <laughs> but I love to drink it. I'll go for this one. This one is my choice. Um, it's perfect. It's like black cake, black cake. Mm -hmm. That one has alcohol. Looks like my Eldorado rum in that one. <laughs> This is just perfect for home use. This one, if you want to get a hike. Yes, that one has the Alvarado. I ah, took ah, just ah. a little bit of it. I knew something was not right here. This is honest. I, I, she didn't tell me anything. Eh? I knew my, my Alvarado was missing. And I found it here. Hey, this one is soft though. Yeah. All right? I'm the drunk. Overall, good. It's perfect, but this one here is a better choice without the Eldorado. So overall, my take is that the one, this one with the wine is better. But this one is to uh, drinkers like me, the people who love Eldorado or who love like, the harder stuff. But Miss Lynch, this thing would have eaten 10 times better if I had some ginger beer, you know. <laughs> Black cake and ginger beer. I have to get ginger beer for Christmas. Yes, but it's still soaking, so. Oh, so it's on the way? Yeah. So, new video with that? Yes. Cheers. Merry Christmas and a prosperous 2021. Be safe.